Hello everyone, my name is Xue and I am a graduate student from the University of Florida. Today I will present my course project, Eigenface based face recognition. Biometrics refers to the identification of different individuals by their unique characteristics. And there are many kinds of biometric authentication techniques such as finger scanning, iris recognition, and palm wound biometrics. Due to the directness, convenience, and friendliness, face recognition techniques have drawn lots of attention and have been developed rapidly these years. There are many face recognition algorithms, which can be classified into two predominant uh, directions. One is the feature-based geometric method, and the other is view-based photometric method. In my project, the face recognition program is developed based on principal component analysis, which is generally referred as the use of eigenface. PCA is used to reduce the high dimension of face image and accurately decompose the face structure into orthogonal principal components known as eigenfaces. The face recognition process includes two stages. One is the initialization or the training stage. First, we need a training set which contains numbers of images of known faces. The size of the input images must be the same. Calculate the most significant M prime eigenfaces. Here, M prime is equal to the number of the class of face images. These eigenfaces define the face space. Then, the training images are projected onto the face space to get the corresponding distribution. After the initialization, the system is ready for the recognition stage. The testing face image will first be projected onto the face space to get its eigenface <coughs> components. Then the weights will be used to calculate the Euclidean distance from different face classes and from the face space. I will explain the whole process in detail in the following few slides. Let T1 to Tm be the training samples. Then the application will first calculate the mean face and get the covariance matrix C. The eigenfaces are the eigenvectors of the covariance matrix C. Although C is n square by n square, we do now need to calculate all the eigenvectors. Due to the fact that the number of images in the training site is less than the dimension of the image space, there will be only m minus 1 meaningful eigenvectors, will the others being 0. To get the eigenphysis UL, we need to construct an M by M matrix CL equal to A transpose multiplied by A. Calculate the eigenvectors of matrix L, then the meaningful eigenphysis of the covariance matrix C can be obtained by this operation. The complexity of calculation is greatly reduced with this analysis. From the order of the large number of pixels of the face images to the order of number of training face images. And uh, this is a simple example of the method to calculate eigenphysis introduced in the last uh, three slides. After the application is initialized by the training site, the application is ready for recognized new faces. 
let uh, T be the new face image which needs to be recognized. This operation will project the original face image onto the face space defined by the M prime eigenphysis. The weights form a vector omega that shows the contribution of each of the M prime eigenphysis in describing the new face image. For every new face image which needs to be identified, the minimal distance di from the ice face class and the distance d from face space will be compared with the threshold theta. If d is larger than theta, the image will be recognized as an image containing no human faces. If the distance from face space is smaller than theta, well, the minimal distance di is larger than theta. Then the face will be classified as an unknown face image. And if di and d are both smaller than theta, then the new face image belongs to class I. Now let me show you my face recognition system. Here is the program. The program is written using MATLAB. The training and the testing image are get got from AT and T lab. Click run and this is the menu of the face recognition system. Click select image and select an image from the computer. Click open and the image will be shown on the screen. You can add this image into the database. Class number is given according to different individuals. Every class contains a few images of the same person with different expression and uh, lightning. I have used uh, more than 70 images from class 1 to class 10 as the training samples. You can see the information about the database by click database information. And there are 72 images and belongs to 10 classes. Let's do a face recognition. First select image, say class 6, and click proceed face recognition. And uh, it says the picture is a uh, known face and belongs to class 6. The MATLAB command window gives more detail. Let's check. As you can see, the nearest class is number 6, and uh, the distance is this the distance from face space and the threshold. The minimal distance is less than the threshold, so it is a known face. Let's try again. This time, select an unknown face, say class 15. And click Proceed face recognition. Okay, it says the picture is of non unknown face. The nearest class is three, but the minimal distance is larger than the threshold, so it is unknown face. Oh, you can 
clear the database by click clear database. And uh, that's all my course project presentation. Thank you for watching.